Marseille ou à, ou à Nice ou dans, dans un aéroport. <coughs> Hi everyone, uh, just a really quick video. Uh, I'm not going to teach you all how to suck eggs, but um, I just thought I'd let you know that a couple of nights ago I, update, I upgraded the firmware on my Icom 7300 to version 1.40. It's really simple. Um, it's something I've been needing to do on the ELAD FTM Duo for a long time and I've not got around to it yet, but it was so simple. Um, and I don't, like I said, I, you know, there's videos already online that explain how to do it, but you basically do it via an SD card. Um, so you get an SD card, put it in the slot, go to menu, hit set, go to SD card, and then hit format. I'm not going to do it because I've already, I've already updated mine, but you hit format, let the radio format the card, which it does, and it copies a few directories on there. What you then can do is you can then save your settings. So press save settings and it will save the, all your current settings onto the SD card. And uh, the benefit of that is that once the firmware is updated, uh, <clears throat> you can then load those settings back on because when it updates the firmware, it, it deletes all, all the settings. So the way that I have the uh, spectrum, the color, uh, spectrum scope colors and, and et cetera, et cetera, audio, et cetera. And then you literally then um, unmount the card. So hit that unmount. And then you take the card uh, to your uh, computer where you can access the correct file from the uh, ICOM website. And in fact, I'm going to like, do this from here. So basically, the website is icomjapan.com forward slash support forward slash firmware underscore driver forward slash 3248 is the actual page. But you can search for it and you'll come here and you'll see that the latest version, it was version 1.4, released on uh, the 26th of February and it lists all the major changes. There's if there's improvements to the spectrum scope you can there's now a scroll mode so you can basically go out of range on this on the scope window and it just automatically scrolls across uh there's all sorts of um uh changes to it the multifunction dial which i'm now twiddling now works as a memory channel selector and uh and also without it being uh <coughs> pressed is now the one kilohertz sort of tuning knob which is really useful um and then they also provide uh, a, a file, uh, sorry, a, a document that actually you can download that details all the improvements uh, in, in, uh, uh, in, well, in more detail than I'm giving you, giving them to you here. So you basically you can download the uh, firmware by saying, ticking that box to say that you've read and understood the above. Download the file. It's a zip file. You um, you can unzip it onto your um, SD card. And then literally, it's a DAT, a .dat file, it's a data file. Um, and, then you, and then you basically take that, put it back in the radio, um, go back to, uh, so if you're here, just literally hit menu again, put the card in, hit menu, click settings, click SD card, and then hit firmware update. And then it'll come to what you'll do, I'll, I'll do this. You'll come to a screen here where you have to then, Press yes and hold the yes button down for a second or so, so that you mean it. Um, and then it'll update the firmware. And it literally took about 15 seconds. And then the computer automatically reboots itself. And then, and then at that point, um, load your settings back in, and they're already on the SD card. And um, and then you and then you then re reset reboot the, the the radio, and you're in business. And it's as simple as that. Uh, I'm not going to go into it into any more detail than that because there's already um, videos on the internet uh, that explain how to do it in more detail. But uh, any of, any of you that were thinking of about updating the firmware, it's it's worth it for me. It's worth it. This this used to do nothing before, and obviously you press it for RF power output, mic gain, etc. Monitor, but one of the one of the changes they've made is to as a default. You can now tune one kilohertz in one kilohertz steps with the multi knob, so uh, which I think is a good idea. 
So there you go. I just thought I'd share that with you. It's a piece of cake. Uh, it's worth doing. And um, it literally took me about two minutes a couple of nights ago. So uh, so there you go. Um, I'm actually in the middle of uh, still sort of comparing the uh, FDM S3 with the FDM Duo. But uh, I remembered that I had done that a couple of nights ago and thought I'd share it with you. So anyway, 73 from the shack.